Good morning. What is the most dangerous means of deception? Today we're at Jeremiah 17 verses 9 and 10. Here again we have it. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doings. So there's three pieces here. The most dangerous way of being deceived is, is to be self-deceived. We've trained ourselves, let's face it, in sin all these years. We've harmed ourselves, developed the flesh, the self-centered, self-serving, uh, fallen human nature that we have. We've, we've built on top of that a very corrupt uh, layer on top of it that, that is our character that we've developed. It is a self-centered character that always leads us astray when we, when we follow along and, and go by its dictates. You know, we are our own worst enemy. As Pogo, I think it was, said, we've met the enemy and the enemy's us. Listening to the news, listening to your doctor, listening to the media, listening to the latest political speech, listening to the latest commentator, watching your latest favorite video, all, every time you're doing it, all the time, 100% of the time, you are at risk of self-deception, of hearing what you want to hear instead of what you should hear, hearing something with rose-colored glasses, or maybe in reverse. Maybe there's something good and we are inclined to, to hear it in a grumpy. We cannot trust ourselves, our, 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 our rational component, our emotions. There's nothing there that is unaffected and there's nothing that we can really trust on our own. But there is something, someone who knows the heart. And we found it in the text. The heart is desperately wicked, verse 9. Who can know it? Well, we all know who can know it. The Lord Jesus knows our hearts. He did not have to be told what was in man because he knew what was in man. So notice that, I, the Lord, search the heart, I test the mind. There is a way that even though we have this totally dangerous heart, there is a way that we can prevail, and that is if we trust in the Lord God of heaven. He can help us. He can rightly evaluate the heart, the mind, the feelings. He can rightly evaluate the desires, and it's critical that we allow him to do that. All of our human faculties are damaged by the fall, and so we are very dangerous. But let's think again about our example, Jesus Jesus, when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, do you remember what he said there? He was under this weight of, of this total weight of the sin of the world, and he even at one point his will was different from the will of the Father. He said, Father, if, it, if it's possible, take this cup, this cup of suffering, take it away from me. So his will wasn't even the same as the Father's will at that time, and yet, and yet kind of was, because he, he said at the end, he said, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. And so Jesus, at the end, at the very last uh, part of the analysis, Jesus always surrendered his will to the Father. And so the Father was not, it was not in his plan to remove the cup of suffering. And so Jesus bore the cup of suffering, and then he went all the way to the cross. Do you know that Jesus is your example and mine? Even there in Gethsemane, Jesus is your example and mine. And so not my own will, but your will, God, be done. We need to be willing to be surrendered completely to the God of heaven and earth, and he will, he will help us, even though we have a deceitful heart. Now, the last portion of our reading helps us understand that when it comes to outcomes, you know, our character is made up of the thoughts and feelings combined, but it's also made up of what we finally choose to do with those thoughts and feelings. I may have a wrong thought, wrong feelings, but if I submit that to the God of heaven, he can change it. He can change, and I follow out and do what I know to be right, even though I, I felt like doing the other thing. That's how my character is built. And so may the Lord God of heaven help us with that, because it tells us here we'll be, we'll be evaluated in the end based on what, how we act out these thoughts and feelings. What do we choose to do? What do we choose for our character to be? God doesn't make our choices for us. He will not force you to be a Christian ever. So we need to choose to be a Christian day by day, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, God will help us with that. Hey, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, the heart is deceitful and wicked above all things. Who can know it? That's our situation, Lord. We need you. We so need you. Please help us, Lord. Help us to trust in you. Uh, help us to submit all of our desires, all of our uh, thinking, all of our plans, ideas, all of our schemes, all of our, all of these things, may they be submitted to you. Bless us, Lord, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. May God help us to trust in him instead of ourselves.